All right. This is not good. This is not good. What's wrong? I just picked up the new issue of Rolling Stone. David Geffen made the cover. So? So, Jimmy hates it when other record company presidents get publicity like this. He's gonna freak out. It's gonna kill us. Hey, can't kill me. Still got two Spice Girls waiting to receive the Busby blessing. What'd I say? Hey, look, Robert, I know Jimmy does have an explosive temper, but maybe this time will be different. I mean, maybe he'll act like a grown-up for once. Morning, Jimmy. No horse you rode in on. Look at me. No doubt by now you've all seen David Geffen's picture on the cover of Rolling Stone. Not mine. Geffen's. Does anybody here know how many times I've been on the cover? Never, not once. <laughs> you have never been on the cover of Rolling Stone? Well, well, that is a travesty, Chief. Although I did see an Armani model in this month's GQ that was a dead ringer for you. You know something, Tommy? If you were any further up my tushy, you'd need night vision goggles. <laughs> and, and I'm sure the view would be spectacular, sir. So what I'm saying here is, if I'm not getting the publicity I deserve, there's a problem. And it starts in A&R. Busby, Robert, I thought in exchange for the money I give you, you might actually go to some clubs, sign some bands. You see, Jim, now, we just signed a couple of bands that are really gonna pop in, in about six months. They just need a little nurturing. Hey, 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 nurture this, okay? I don't want nobody to know. I want somebody big and splashy. I want my Beck, my Foo Fighters, my Pearl Jam, and I want the cover of Rolling Stone to look like this. That would be the Halloween issue. Grab a Snickers. You spell it. Yeah. Mike Ditka for 1 800 Collect. Hey, come on, let's get ready. Hello! This reverend puts the F U N in funeral. Shield the widow. Good news. All new UPN Monday. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Well, I called every manager and contact we know in the industry, and nothing. You know, something's really, really wrong with this business when no one hates their label anymore. <laughs> Jimmy's got some nerve. What DC musician is just gonna appear out the blue and want to get signed? Hi, I'm Davy Jones. Uh, Neil here says that you are the hottest A&R guys in town, and I'm, I'm sort of looking Davey for... Davy Jones? You're Davy Jones? Yeah. Why you gotta meet this guy? He's a monkey. <laughs> You've been talking like that about the man. He just gave us a compliment. No, Buzz. Monkey, as in the monkeys. He's one of the biggest pop stars of all time. Hey, hey, hey. Good for you. <laughs> nice shirt, man. <laughs> hey, look, I I'm not into pop anymore. Look, I this is where I want to go. I want to go to speed metal, you know? Like Metallica. You know? Like Rage Against the Machine. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Why? Well, we, we invented the music video. Yeah, and the other guy's mother invented liquid paper, but... I'm sorry. You know what? Let me give you my number, right? You can call me. Well, why would I want your number, man, if you're not gonna do anything? I don't know. I just thought we'd, like, hang out. Get bent. Lucky Buzz. What's happening, man? What can I get you? How about an incredibly hot band? Say, immediately? Huh. Incredibly hot band, huh? I think I might know somebody. <laughs> Neil? Huh? What are you doing? Yeah, come on, come on. Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> somebody big. <laughs> come on, Neil. You can tell your buddies, right? Hey, give it up. But it's gonna be a black-on-black -black crime up in here. <laughs> all right, all right. 
Vanessa. Vanessa, as in Vanessa's new hot single moan, just went platinum, Vanessa. <laughs> I know it's crazy to believe, but I overheard an exec say she got into a fight with a label. Today they dropped her. If this is true, Vanessa's beautiful. And she has the sexiest single that I have ever heard. Oh, man, I'd love to sign her. I was thinking of a demi bird. <laughs> but either way, we won't have to get in contact with her. Well, boys, you know you're in luck, because I happen to be her biggest fan. And I also happen to know that she lives in uh, Santa Monica. <laughs> you have to be a little bit more specific. California. <laughs> Neil, I think you may have to be uh, just a scooch more specific. All right. Well, she swims at the beach every morning at 7, between lifeguard towers 7 and 9. At 10, she's over at uh, Starbucks in Montana ordering a decaf grande non-fat latte. Right after that, she picks up her dry cleaning at this little place on 10th. Mm -mm -mm. Does that lady love her rayon? <laughs> you know, you sound like a stalker. No! <laughs> Come on, man. A stop is when the other person's a victim and feels uncomfortable. Vanessa doesn't even know I'm there. Man, I can't believe that we're this close to signing Vanessa. That girl is Grammy Brown. Yeah, but I don't know, man. It seemed like it happened all too easy. What you talking about, partner? I don't know, man. Come on, I mean, all right. This girl, she's got a hit single, Moan Out, right? And no one from her label's talking to us. There must be a reason why they dropped her, you know? I mean, what if she's impossible to work with? Yeah, we've been there before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if she's a basket case? They all are. Yeah, true, true. What if she violated her morals clause? Like, what if she's some sort of uncontrollable freak? Then it's happy birthday, Busby. <laughs> Boys, I just got off the phone with Vanessa's lawyers, and deals closed. Press party set for tonight at Riffs. Yeah, baby! We did it, man. Hey, hey hit me. Uh, two times. Uh, uh. You know, that is some of the best negotiating I've ever done. But does Jimmy thank me? Does he? No. He sits back in his chair and says, What do you know? Now women are good for two things. Oh! <laughs> You know, Andrew, I always wanted to ask you, you dumped Jimmy. So how is it that he's never fired you? He would love to, but uh, Jimmy used to talk in his sleep, and I know where all the bodies are buried. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Wait, 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 wait. You know, when you say bodies buried, you don't mean, like, real bodies, right? <laughs> no, no, Jimmy would never do that. Jimmy would never do that. Hey, check this out. This place is off the hook. Man, I had no idea that Vanessa was this big. And look at Jimmy, huh? The king, holding court from his proper place on the throne. And that's the first time I've ever seen someone kiss ass from across the room. You know something? You're right too far. I better get a little closer. Well, we got Jimmy all the publicity he could have ever dreamed of, huh? I'm telling you something, and I'm telling you something now. Vanessa here is gonna be the biggest star the next millennium. So what? Geffen goes out and signs who? George Michael? Who could pass on signing here for a wham? <laughs> Look at Vanessa. She's so beautiful. And her skin just glows. Yeah. That's because she only washes with Neutrogena and only lotions with aloe. <laughs> Never lanolin. Anyway, I come up with the idea the other night in bed. Did I mention I was with a model? Or well, maybe two. Well, you know, they're so skinny these days. <laughs> Jimmy, you two look awful comfy together. Might there be a little romance? Well, you know, she's so adorable, I'd, uh... You'd what, Jimmy? I'd cuddle with her after. <laughs> OK, there, I said it. Now, don't go printing, I'm queer. I'm sorry, uh, homo-American. <laughs> all right, all right, listen, ladies and gentlemen, Hightower Records is proud to announce the signing of our new recording artist, Vanessa. Yeah, give it up for her. Uh, maybe we could get Vanessa to come up here and do her chart-busting hit. 
moan for us. Come on. Go on, girl, get your moan on. Is there something wrong? Where's the playback? The what? The tape of the person that really sings. <laughs> What's going on here, people? We're starting to look bad. I should have never brought me out here without the playback. Vanessa, what are you saying? I don't sing. Oh, God. OK, OK, OK. I'll handle this. You don't sing? <laughs> Look, I'm not a singer. I'm an act. Neil, you knew when she did her dry cleaning. You knew when she got her coffee. You didn't know when she took a damn swim in the morning. But you didn't know she couldn't sing? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> America's head over heels for head over heels. Eat your heart out, baby. Head over heels for Jack the Jiggle. Tomorrow at 10 after Star Trek. Kim Vanelli. I can't believe you guys got Hightower to sign Millie freaking Vanelli. But maybe I should look on the bright side, huh? I want the notoriety. I'm on the cover of Billboard, Hollywood Report, a variety. Robert. Read what they wrote about me in Hits magazine. Do I have to? It's only the Bible of the industry. Now read it. Okay. <clears throat> Disgrace Jimmy Esposito. Oh, wait, this is just wrong. Laughing stock should be hyphening. This. You wanted to see me? Yeah. Well, what is it? Nothing. I just wanted to see. I thought it might make me feel better. But apparently, I'm very, very depressed. Perhaps you wouldn't mind hopping up and down? Oh! Yeah, like that! Oh, Jim. Women, huh? Don't bond with me. Okay. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy, wait, man. Well, let's just get this over with, all right? We signed Vanessa. So just go ahead, fire us. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. What? What? We screwed up, man. Fire us. What are you doing? No, no, no. Firing isn't going to solve this problem. And yet, my personal integrity is in question. Now, look, you fix this, or you're going to wind up like Wally Bull, the Rama. And you know what happened to him. <laughs> uh, no, what happened to him? I don't know. I was at the movies that day. <laughs> All day. Boys, we gotta think of something, man. We gotta think of something quick. Okay, okay, just chill, okay. chill, chill. <laughs> All right. Let Busby do his thing. Do your thing, Busby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get my groove on. Get your groove on. Right, right. Hey, hey, hey. Uh huh. Uh -huh. All right, now wait. Somebody sang those vocals for Vanessa, right? Oh, yeah, 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 like a session vocalist or something, right? Well, well, there you go. That woman had a slamming voice. It was like, it's like sex. Uh. <laughs> what a dance beat. It kind of makes you just want to get your Mac on, make it your duty to get the booty. <laughs> All night long. We just got to find her and sign her. And I'll tell you something else. Everybody saw me in that theater that day. <laughs> now, we are not leaving here without a deal. I won't take no for an answer. So let me turn on the good old Busby Char. Hey. <laughs> let me do all the talking. Don't you say anything stupid. Just really religious. I've heard it before.
before. You're not the first record execs to change your mind after you saw me. Here, let me save you the trouble and slam the door for you. I thought fat people were jolly. <laughs> You are such a bonehead. I can't believe the way you treated that poor lady. Look, Rob, I don't mean to be cruel, man, but today's artists, they, they gotta have sexy images, sexy videos. So what you're saying is, is that it's style versus substance and sound doesn't matter at all. Not as much. When, when you're talking about female acts, you're looking for somebody who's hot and sexy. Somebody who looks good in tight clothes and skimpy halter times. Somebody who just oozes sex. Oh, God, I love this business. <laughs> well, you know, I got into this business to discover talent, musical talent, to go around getting dates. I get dates on my own. Yeah, and I can get a cab in New York. <laughs> you know, something's really wrong with you. <laughs> Look, Rob, I'm not saying that Sabrina is a talented, but it'd be easier to sell Vanessa as a singer than to try to sell Sabrina to the public. Vanessa's already got the look, the poise. We just surround her with some great musicians, reverb her vocals. I got it, man. I got it. I got it. That's what we'll do. We'll, we'll repackage it. We'll spin all that negative publicity and make Jimmy look like he's a genius. Jimmy is a genius. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were having lunch with him. <laughs> My singing voice is really that good, you know? Hey, you leave it all to me, okay? It's all in the presentation. Now, with the right look, whatever little flaws your voice might have, no one will even notice. She works hard for the money. <laughs> so hard for it, honey. She works hard for the money. You better treat her right. She works hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. She worked hard for the money, so you better treat her right. She worked hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. She worked hard for the money, so you better treat her right. So, what do you think? I got one more idea. But I'm not sure I can get the video on MTV. <laughs> How's that hammer show selling? All right, here's an idea. How about you give those four people back their money and let Busby fill the joint? <laughs> yeah, I got somebody better. She's got the number one single in the country. No, 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 it's not Vanessa. It's the voice behind Vanessa. Yeah, 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 okay, that's better. Eight o'clock. Cool. Did I just hear you book Sabrina into a club tonight? Yeah, the Troubadour. Wait a minute, you know, I'm confused. I, I thought that you didn't think Sabrina could be a star. You know, Rob, I worked with Vanessa, and she was just horrible. It made me take a long, hard look at myself in the mirror. And of course, I liked what I saw. <laughs> but I, I didn't like what I was becoming, man. A, a packager, a huckster. I forgot. It's all about the music. Hey, Sabrina, I heard the good news. Can't wait for the showcase, huh? What are you talking about? Hey, Sabrina. <laughs> Look, don't freak out on me here. <laughs> I know we don't have a deal, but I booked you in the Troubadour anyway. But you told me I was coming here to talk about session work. Right, right, right. I lied. <laughs> well, forget it. I don't want any deal, and I'm not getting up on any stage. Oh, come on, Sabrina. You, you, you got a real voice. You got a real talent. That sure wasn't the vibe I was getting from you the other day. I was wrong. I was right. <laughs> Listen, I got so caught up in the packaging, I, I lost sight of what's real. It's, it's all about what reaches the ear. Well, if I go out there tonight, it'll be all about what reaches the eye. Wait, 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 what's, what's more important? The weight of your songs or your own physical weight? The, the size of your soul or, or the size of your body? Whether you could touch people's hearts or, or whether you could touch your toes. <laughs> I... I don't know. I really need to think about it. Where is she? She should be here soon, I hope. Uh, Jimmy, there's something you probably should know about Sabrina. What? Well, uh, sh she's sort of, uh, physically enormous. 
<laughs> How enormous is she? Well... Well, what? Bigger than a house? Bigger than Aaron Spelling's house? Guys, I decided to do it. It's the Kennedy compound. <laughs> Sabrina, so glad that you can make it. I want you to meet the uh, president of Hightower Records, Jimmy Esposito. I just want to thank you for giving me this chance. Oh, no problem. You know, I give you a big hug and kiss for luck, but I, uh, I got, you know, I got bugs. <laughs> Look, I just want to thank you so much for coming down here. I'm a little scared, but I'm tired of the running, of the hiding. Shoot, I belong on that stage. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's give it up for High Tower's new recording artist, Sabrina Chambers. <laughs> well, guys, this is it. This is my moment to shine. Oh, you brought the playback tape, right? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> it's a UPN exclusive. The King Lives. It's a clear choice for weather. I am just really, really proud of you, man. Hey, I owe it all to you. You helped me open my eyes, made me realize how shallow I was being. You know, I had forgotten what the music business was all about, but from here on out, I could pretty much say it's all about substance. I did say pretty much, right? <laughs> Watching back to back comedy on UPN. When shopping for cool comedy, use the UPN Express card, where comedy knows no limits. Clueless premieres Tuesday, September 23rd.